Hey, um, I am going to do a super quick makeup look. Um, I am very tired. Horse show yesterday, long day outside. Um, but I need to go to Walmart and buy groceries. I've already moisturized. Um, just putting on some primer. Um, I was obviously out in the sun a lot. I did wear a hat, so to protect my face. Um, so I'm going to put a lot of, put a heavy duty hyaluronic acid moisturizer on, primer, setting spray, yada, yada, yada. Um, this is going to be super quick. I'm not doing blush. I'm only doing one or two mascaras. It's going to be real super quick. That's probably too much, but whatever. I really do like this Milani Born to Glow. It's really super light. And as you can see, it really blends with my natural skin. They don't make foundation to match my skin. I'm too pink. And this is natural. I don't have rosacea. I promise you I don't. Um, I just have ro real rosy skin. So sometimes it's hard to match. True foundation. With my skin. So, just going to schlep it on here. I am going to powder down. Also, if you're a nurse, like my mom is, and has to wear a mask all day, and you want to wear makeup, my mom has been using BB cream as foundation since most of her face is covered, and she's just increased um, her, eye, her eye makeup. So yeah, so if you're a nurse, BB cream is what my mom's been using. Um, just to have some coverage on your face, because I know hospitals are kind of drying, you know, wear on your face and you have to wear a mask and blah. And then cleanse and moisturize really good. But yeah, she's been using BB cream to um, do her, to as in lieu of foundation, like true full coverage foundation, because you're just wasting product if it's under a mask all day. And then she's just enhanced her eye makeup a little bit. So. And I did discover that my oil of Olay is causing some oxida oxid oxidation of my skin under my makeup. Because I have gotten new makeup. Like I use NYX now. And I was still having some oxidation and I just switched. I get a birch box every month. It was a gift a couple years ago for my parents and my mom just keeps renewing it. And um, and I got some more high-end like moisturizer samples that I've been tr trying different ones. And I've just discovered that my moisturizer has been causing my makeup to oxidize on my face and also concealer and I've on my third kind of concealer now my second kind of concealer and it was doing the same thing so I have ruled that concealer out and I did consult a professional makeup artist um, Cody J he's the one that gave, sent me my revolution stuff Revolution Cosmetics Simpsons Halloween Edition stuff. So, 
Um, so yeah, so we've, I've discovered that. So I'm going to get some NYX concealer because I don't really wear concealer very often, mainly if I wear eyeshadow and I don't wear a lot of eyeshadow. I need to throw away all my eyeshadow palettes because I've discovered they're all out of date. Some of them have been out of date a minute, <laughs> a hot minute. <laughs> I didn't know. I knew makeup expired, but I didn't know what level. So anyway, I didn't grab enough Q-tips. So yeah, this is a real quick, super under 10 minute makeup look. My eyes are going to be watery today because I was outside so much yesterday. And this wind, Oklahoma wind just tears it up. Put my hair in this bun this morning and I said, yep, I'm rolling with this bun all day long. I ain't going to try and fight it. So when you get your hair, if you're just going to wear a messy bun and you get it on the first try, don't fuck with it. Leave it alone. Oh my gosh. Freaking mascara all over my fucking face with that mess. Oh, my mascara is just not going to be good today. It's going to be messy. And like I always say, makeup's messy. Wet n Wild has good makeup. It's cheap. It's pretty decent. I've always been a Wet n Wild lip gloss fan. So anyway, so that's my really quick look to go to Walmart today. And I'll wear this all day. Alright, everybody have a good Sunday.